to go. Do that one with our shortcut. All right. What is the first step I do? Six times three? No. Sixty times three? Yes. Yes. Why do I have some people saying yes and some people? We're trying the shortcut way. Three times six. Okay, I have my silent protest. Some of you don't want me to do six times three or three times six first. If you didn't want me to do six, three times six first, tell me why. Okay, so if I did that first, I would get 180. And then I would do the one, six, four is 12. And that would be the wrong answer. You wouldn't like that one. Okay. How many of you want me to do three times four first? What is three times four? Twelve. So you guys don't like what I did here. Who would explain? To, who could explain to me what I did here that you don't like? Aaron. I didn't regroup. Oh, that's the first time I've heard that word regroup when we're talking about multiplication. What am I? What am I regrouping, and where am I regrouping it? I'm regrouping the one up over in the ten spot over the six to remind me to do what with that later. Ah. Ah. Okay. Now should I do six times three times six? Yes. And I'm multiplying three times six tens, so my answer is going to be in the tens place when I put it down. Three times six is. Oh, three, three, three. Just three times six. Eighteen. Eighteen. Remember, because in our head, we're doing three <laughs> times six tens. So then I get 18 tens. And that reminds me that my 18 is going to go in the tens place. Okay? Am I going to put an 18 in the tens place? No. What am I going to put in the tens place? Nine. 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 Oh, yes, nine. But yes, we'll, we'll, can we agree that the hundreds is going to be a hundred? Yes. Do you guys agree that the hundreds place is going to be a hundred? Yes. Some of you want to put a nine and some of you want to put an eight. What am I going to put here? A nine or an eight? Nine. Why nine? I multiplied three times 16 and I got 18. Rashawn? Uh, uh, six plus three equals nine. Six times, six plus three equals nine. We're not adding six times three. We're doing three times six. That was 18. So why am I going to make this 19 down here, Joaquin? I still need to add the one, what? To the 18. And what does this one count for right here? Is it a one? No. It's a, it's one ten, right? So since I have 18 tens and now I have one more 10, I now have 19 tens. Okay. And because we, there's nothing else to multiply, I know that that one is going to go right there. Go. So you guys told me last time you yelled at me when I didn't do when I did this times this first the tens first so I'm gonna do the ones. <coughs> Five times four is what? Okay, no. 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 Eva's doing a nice silent protest, so I'm gonna ask Eva why. And why am I putting it above the seven instead of above the four, Eva? I already did the ones. Is the two a one or is it a ten? It's a ten. All right, what is my next step? Joaquin? Five times seven. Five times seven is what, class? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Plus two. Ah, I got somebody already starting because he knows the mistake I'm going to make. All right, so I have thirty-five. Tens. When I did five, I'm going to just write it out again so you remember. When I did five times seven tens, I came up with 35 tens. And I had somebody already tell me I have to add two. The two comes from these two tens up here. So I have 35 tens plus two tens is how many tens? 37. 37 tens. 